Hi, and welcome to Real Life with Jenny. My name's Jenny Senapadaratna. Grab your favorite drink and a snack, and we will get started. Today, I am drinking a brand new tea to me, which is vanilla bean macaroon. It's actually super yummy. Um, it's it's called a dessert, which, yeah, if we're going to do this, let's do this. And I'm eating jelly beans. You will find out why in a minute or two. But jelly beans are my go-to when I'm having a bad day. So <laughs> let's get real. I want to talk about um, expectations and how life really turns out. <laughs> so we just finished with the holiday seasons. Um, we all celebrated New Year's and Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the other um, holidays that go in that season. There's so many of them. And I am one of those people that I love being creative. Being creative is something that I kind of pride myself on, which maybe isn't the best idea, but I love creativity and I love to do fun things and I love to think outside the box and it is a super fun for me to come up with new activities. And this year, I'm not really sure what happened. I think the wheels came off. Now that we did some creative things, but I had meal planned for the week of Christmas. So I had this really great idea of what we were going to eat and all this fun stuff. Because Christmas we weren't able to spend with um, the people that we normally can. And we didn't have the big parties that we normally have. We always have either tacos or lasagna on Christmas normally. And this year it just didn't happen. We did a very short Christmas with my family, which was really nice. Um, but just not the same as normal. So this year I thought, I am going to do dinner big, right? I am going to like, woo, we're going to blow it out of the park. Because honestly, for Thanksgiving, I think I did an amazing job. We did our first turkey in years. And it was one of my favorite meals we've ever had as the family of three. So I was like, we are going to do this. And Christmas Eve came and you know what we ate? We ate leftovers. I was just so tired and just done. I was like, I'm just done. And we did leftovers. And I thought, okay, Jenny, you can pull this together. It'll be great Christmas Day. And on Christmas Day, we had frozen pizza. Yes, not even delivered pizza, not even homemade pizza, frozen pizza pizzas. And I started beating myself up. I'll be completely honest. I was a little like, what is going on with me? <laughs> I love to cook. I enjoy the creativity of cooking. I'm not very good at following recipes. So baking is not really my, I can bake, but I really love to just throw this in and that in and kind of see how it goes. They always give you a recipe and I completely change it. I went back to some of my grandmother's recipes and she pulled recipes out of a book, uh, magazines and different cookbooks. And she always scratched them out and rewrote them because they obviously did not know what they were doing the first time. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. She always changed everything. So I'm very much like my grandmother. So I just really felt disappointed in myself for having our family eat frozen pizza. Now, maybe to you, that's not a huge disappointment. In fact, I actually love frozen pizzas. But a really interesting fact is it wasn't until two years ago that my daughter had even ever had a frozen pizza. She was 11, almost 12 before she ever had her first frozen pizza. I had always made it from scratch before then or we'd... Um, done other fancy pieces. I'd never done anything frozen for her. So that was an interesting, and now I'm doing it on Christmas. Okay, what, what has happened, Jenny? So I started thinking about our expectations, and as we stepped into 2021, we have these great expectations of our goals and our future and how life is going to be, and we're going to change, and you know, and then we've given up by day four. Now, I'm not saying you've given up because I didn't set many expectations. I set them back on my birthday. So I didn't set, in, set up any New Year's resolutions. I'm still actually praying for my word for 2021. And I'm having an argument about what I think it should be. <laughs> anyway, so I have been thinking about expectations and... 
this whole hills and valleys and mountains and valleys. So we hear about being at the mountaintop of life and being in the valleys of life. We hear that a lot in the Christian world. Maybe we hear that a lot outside the Christian world too. And it's something that I just started thinking about. And my expectation has always been, and I know this is going to sound really silly because it's not exactly the truth. I mean, it's not the truth at all. Okay. We so often think of going to the valley like we take an elevator down to the valley, right? We're at the mountaintop of life and we just take an elevator down. And that's not the truth. The actual truth is, is when you go down the mountainside, you are tumbling and falling and landing on rocks, scraping up your life. It is a very difficult fall. And so the truth is that I think the fall is harder than being in the valley. I think the valley sometimes is a place of deep despair. Maybe that's what it represents for a lot of people. But getting there is the hardest part. And getting out of it is hard because you stumble and you fall and there's bumps and there's bruises. And it is not fun. I am not a mountain climber. Um, Let's just make that very clear. I'm eating jelly beans today. (laughs) I'm not a mountain climber. And maybe you can eat jelly beans and be a mountain climber. Just not me. Um, I don't even enjoy a tough hill. That's not fun for me. (laughs) You know, you run a 5K. You really want the 5K to be flat. Hopefully going downhill as much as possible. None of this um, going upstairs or any of that kind of stuff. This is not my thing. So... Going up a hill, there's a lot of tripping, there's a lot of falling, there's a lot of planting, face planting. And I started thinking about that maybe our journey, we so often think that other people hop into an elevator and they just rise to the top. Or even I'm down in the valley and you get down to the valley and you're like, why am I so, why am I hurting? Why are, why is this hurting? Why is that hurting? And it's because of the journey down. So that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the journey. And I went into the Bible and, okay, I went into Google and I Googled a couple things and I then looked some things up in my Bible. And one thing that I found very interesting is there's not very many mountaintop moments that God's like, I'm going to bring you to the mountaintop. Now there is Moses who stands there with his Ten Commandments and loses his temper and throws them um, and then has to go back up to the mountain. So there is that moment, but there are not many moments that were mountaintop. And I think the truth is in life, there are not a lot of mountaintop moments. We imagine them in other people's lives, but I honestly don't feel like there's many times that I've gone like, this is as good as it gets. Here I am, I'm at the top. That's not really how we live our lives. Most of the time we live our lives in the valley and we live our lives climbing. We do not often stand and go, "Woo, I've made it. Maybe that's where you are. Great. Good for you. I spend 99% of my life in the valley with my jelly beans. Um, and when I started going through Bible verses about the valley, I was actually quite amazed because really when you think of the valley, for me, I think of Psalms 23. Even though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff are with me. And i that's what I've always thought about. Like you don't go through the valley alone and you really don't. But when you get to the valley or you're in the valley, there are dark places There are light places and there are places of victory that can happen in your valley. And so I started thinking about when I was reading and there's a lot of Bible verses that talk about victories in the in the valley. Now, they're actually victories that happen in the valley because there's a lot of battles in the Bible. And I kind of have always avoided the battle scenes because I don't really fully understand what it's like to be a warrior. Um. I know what it's like to be a coupon clipper, and that's kind of like a warrior. Going out on Black Friday used to be kind of like being a a warrior. It's not anymore. Um, (laughs) So, but I don't understand battlefields. 
But I do know that a lot of them, when you're reading through, were won in valleys. And so that we spend most of our time in the valleys or climbing or walking through, and we're always looking up. We're always trying to strive and achieve. And a couple months ago, I did a podcast. I believed I called it the second commandment um, in life. And it's talking about self-love. And I've been thinking about that a lot. I talked about rest, reset, and refresh. Those three pieces, how to rest, reset, and refresh. So if you want to go back, it's called the second commandment. I've never done that before. Like go back to the last podcast. I originally was going to call it old tea bags because that's what we kind of talk about in there anyway, but I didn't. So I've been thinking a lot about that. And self care is something that we so often throw out the window um, as we are in our tumbling down the hill or climbing up the hill or even in the darkness, we so often forget to take care of the wounds that are happening. We don't take time to evaluate what's going on. We don't take time to allow ourselves to rest, reset, and refresh. We just don't take that time. We just suck it up and move on. Like we're tough warriors, we can do this. And I do not believe that's what God calls us to do. And so as I fell, down the hill. I did not take an elevator these last couple of weeks. I just tumbled and hit every rock you can imagine. And my body started going, oh, Jenny, you don't feel well. And so my body, when I get stressed, shuts down. It does not work very well. I think a lot of people, a lot of our ailments have to do with stress. And do I have anything super stressful in my life? No, I really don't. I've been super fortunate right now. Um, God has been really gracious, but I get stressed out. It is just part of my life. And unfortunately, I think it's part of yours too, right? We all get stressed that we failed, quote unquote. You didn't see my air quotes because I was like, oh, you didn't see my air quotes. (laughs) Sometimes I forget that I'm doing this and you can't see me anyway. (laughs) Um, I quote unquote failed by giving my family frozen pizza on Christmas Day because I didn't have the energy to make the meal I had planned. That is not the place that I want to stay in. I don't want to stay in. I don't mind being in a valley. I really don't. I think sometimes the valleys are the prettiest. There's a lot of greenery around, but there's a lot of pain that can go with it and a lot of loneliness. And right now we're in the season of loneliness. That's what I'm calling COVID. I'm calling it the season of loneliness because you are isolated and you're away from people. And first of all, I want to really encourage you this week. Reach out to someone. Just send them a note. Send them a text. Send them a DM. um, Send them a carrier pigeon. Whatever. You know. Something just to say, hey, I just want you to know I'm thinking about you and you're not alone. Just quick side note, because honestly, sometimes that's all you need. When you feel like you're in a dark place and you're full of bumps and bruises, you just want to know you're not alone. You know that God's there with you, but you need that actual reminder, that physical reminder sometimes. And that for me is my jelly beans which is why I'm eating them because they're a reminder. I've had several friends send me jelly beans and they're a reminder that I'm not alone. Um, Other than they're delicious, (laughs) they're also a reminder that God loves me and he has given me friends who love me too. So as we are all probably in our journey somewhere, either on a plateau, in a valley, climbing up a mountain, wherever you are, it's not easy. Even at the top, it's not easy. And there's still lots of things you can trip over and fall. And we don't get to take elevators up and down. We get blisters and our feet are swollen and we are tired and we just want to rest. And I'm going to give you permission right now to rest. In 2021, we have no idea what's coming for us. We, I know there's lots of memes out there and lots of funny things about, you know, ooh, Jumanji and all that kind of fun stuff. 
but really we don't know what's ahead. So I want you to take some time and I have my favorite sign up and it says breathe. And just take some time and breathe. And remember that you have been through a journey. It has been hard. You may not be you may not be having a hard day today, but yesterday you fell and it still hurts. And you can't ignore that and just push through because when you ignore it and push through is when you cause problems. I have learned that the hard way through many, many things. I'm a kidney stone woman and it they normally come from stress. So here we go. Um, I just really want you to take some time and figure out how to care for yourself in 2021. We always are caring for those around us. That's what we do. We love people. We want um, to get those text messages, but sometimes we have to send them too. <laughs> so please take some time to rest and find the Lord in your valley. Find some victories in your journey as you fall in and see that God has lifted you up again. You know, that you have knocked up your, how many times do we stub our toes? That hurts so bad. And we just keep, we just shake it off and keep moving. And a lot of times we really need to stop and say, ooh, there's pain here and maybe change something. I've had to move things in my house because I continually hit them with my foot, right? If you keep it there, you're gonna continue to hit it. Sometimes you gotta stop, feel the pain, see where the pain came from, and do something about it. It's not necessarily about just getting through it. You know, and sometimes you can't do anything about it because someone else put that there. But we can always bring it to God. And so in 2021, that is what I encourage us to do, is to encourage one another to stop, rest, reset, and refresh, and take our things to God and help, ask him to help us move what's in our way and what hurt us. Help us navigate a new path that we don't need to continue to fall. Now we are gonna fall, but wouldn't it be nice to fall with knee pads on and not get that knee completely scraped up? I believe that God can do that for us. Well, that's all I have for us today. It's kind of an odd message, mostly about jelly beans and taking a breath. But if you can find us on ChristConnection.cc slash Jen, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Real Life with Jenny. I would love to connect with you um, and see how things are going in your life and where you are, whether you're in the plateau, whether you've fallen, whether you're in a dark, deep valley all alone and you feel lonely, please reach out. We would love to pray with you. We would love to let you know that you're not alone because you're not. Have a wonderful week.